Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. I am Neha Rajbanshi and I welcome you all in today's class that is English class of class 10th. So students in today's video we will start reading with our next topic of grammar syllabus. This topic is known as question tags. So yes in our examination we will have one sentence and we have to add question tag to that sentence. Okay so one sentence will be there in our examination paper. So what is question tag actually and how can we form a question tag? What are the rules that we have to follow? So all these things we will cover in this topic that is question tag. So let's begin our today's video that is explanation part of this topic question tag. So students first of all let's try to understand what question tags actually mean. When the speaker expresses his or her guess or opinion or he or she seeks audience confirmation for his doubt or curiosity then he uses question tag. So first of all we are having this thing that what is question tag actually and why it is used. So it is used to why because the speaker when he is expressing his guess or opinion in, in it means that when he is not very much sure he is only having his guesses he is only expressing his opinions then he can use question tags and one more thing when he is trying to seek audience confirmation then also he can use question tags okay so question tags you they were normal question you they have but they are a part of a sentence and they are known as question tag and why we use question tag that we have discussed because when we are trying to show our guesses our opinion and when we are trying to seek audience confirmation then we can use question tags in a sentence clear next we are having they comes at the end of the sentence as the second part of the sentence yes it's a very important thing they means question tags so question tag they come at the end of the sentence okay and how as the second part of the sentence so as i have told you earlier that question tags they are not at all normal questions right jaise ki humne padha hai that we can make a question using wh word or using any auxiliary word ek aisa question jisa koi answer hota hai no that is not question tag they are known as a normal question so we can say interrogative sentence but question tags they are actually the second part of the sentence in the beginning we are having one sentence one assertive sentence and at the end of the sentence as the second part we can have question tags so why we are saying this thing that they are the second part because first of all we are having one sentence then there will be one comma and after that comma there will be the second part and that second part is known as question tags okay so till now we have discussed this thing that what que uh, question tags actually mean and why they are used okay so yes they are used to for this reason that when we are trying to show our guesses or when we are trying to see confirmation and yes they are the second part they are known as the second part of the sentence and they come at the end of the sentence after one comma clear now we are having that to uh, your question tag hame form karna hai so what are the part of speeches of that question tag or using what words we can form question tag so let's see question tag are made using auxiliary verb and pronoun so yes question tags they are made using only two things in a question tag we need only two thing the first thing is auxiliary verb now very obvious question arises here that we are having so many auxiliaries so which auxiliary verb we have to use so yes the answer is that the auxiliary verb that is there in the sentence so we have to use we have to pick that auxiliary verb only and we need one pronoun also so students be very careful we don't need any noun only and only pronoun will be there in the question tag so question tag basically it actually need two things first First is the auxiliary verb, the verb that is there in the sentence. We will use that verb only, and we will use the one pronoun. So yes, auxiliary verb plus pronoun together they make one question tag. 
in negative tags we have to add a not with auxiliary and yes yet another important thing that if we are having negative tags so yes we will discuss this thing in very much detail further that to how can we make negative tags or when we have to make negative tags but right now just to try to understand this thing that when we are having negative tags so we have to add a not also and yes so where we have to not we have to add not with the auxiliary verb so aise bhi hum keh sakte hain ki that if we are having negative tag then we actually need three things first is auxiliary verb second is this not and third is the pronoun but if we are having assertive tag or we can say positive tag then we need only two thing auxiliary verb plus pronoun and again i am repeating this thing that if we are making negative tag then yes to make the tag negative we have to add not also where with the auxiliary verb clear so basically we have discussed that in question tags we need to basically two things so that they are the major things first one is the auxiliary verb the same auxiliary verb that is there in the sentence and second we have to add one pronoun clear so now let's see some of the examples let's try to understand that question tags hote hain kaise hote hain sentence ka second part hai kaise hote hain kis tarah se hum inko likhte hain so we are having some of the examples to clear all these things to clear all the doubts that what to question tags actually mean how we have to write the, them at the end of the sentence so let's discuss some of the examples that we are having here the first one is he wrote a letter didn't he so you can read this entire sentence but at the same time i hope you are able to understand this thing that this sentence is having two parts this one he wrote a letter this is the first part and this is the sentence okay this part he wrote a letter this is not the basic sentence this is known as the first part of the sentence and didn't he this is our question tag I hope now it is clear to you all. He wrote a letter. It's a normal sentence. This is the first part. And didn't he? This is the question tag that we have to add at the end of the sentence. And just to be very careful regarding this comma, you have to use this comma. After the comma only, you have to add the question tag. Now let's discuss this question tag. So we are having didn't he? Didn't means we are having did plus not. So did. what is they did is the auxiliary verb this is the negative tag so we are having not with did and we are having he that is a pronoun so yes we have discussed this thing that we have to add one auxiliary if we are having negative tag then we have to add not also and we have to use one pronoun also so like the, this you can see that we are having one question tag and after the question tag you have to use only question mark because this is a question tag yes it is totally different from a normal question but it's still it's a question tag so you have to use question mark at the end of the question tag clear another example we are having you do not read do you so yes this is the sentence you do not read we are having comma so this is the first part this is the second part after comma that is do you and this part do you it is known as question tag and here also we can see that we are having do that is the auxiliary verb and we are having you that is a pronoun and after that we are having one question mark because this is a question tag so in this manner we have to form question tag in this manner we have to add question tag after the end of the sentence in our examination we will see only sentence right only this much we will have you do know to read and after read we have to add question tag okay and we will discuss all the rules but just right now just to try to understand how can we write what question tag actually look like so yeah this is the question tag and in this tag we have to use auxiliary verb and pronoun 
नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल ही स्पीक्स द ट्रूथ डजेंट ही सो स्टूडेंट अगेन आई एम सेंग दिस थिंग डेट द नॉलेज ऑफ द टेंस इज इट इज यट वेरी मच यूजफुल इन दिस टॉपिक ऑल्सो डेट इज क्वेश्चन टैग बिकॉज यू हैव टू ऑब्जर्व द टेंस यू हैव टू ऑब्जर्व द ऑग्जिलरी वर्ब हेयर वी आर हैविंग ही स्पीक्स द ट्रूथ वी आर हैविंग नो ऑग्जिलरी वर्ब हेयर बट वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग डेट दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ प्रेजेंट सिंपल टेंस वाई बिकॉज वी आर हैविंग ही एज ए सब्जेक्ट दैट इज अ सिंगुलर one and we are having first form plus s or es so in this sentence we can see that does it is hidden here the auxiliary verb does is hidden here in this sentence so here again students the knowledge of tense that will help you uh, help you a lot because then only you will be able to identify the proper auxiliary right so we all know that does is hidden here so this is the reason we are using doesn't and uh, does plus not we will write uh, as the as the form of dozen and we are having one pronoun that is he and after that we have to use question mark clear next is he is your brother isn't he so this is the sentence he is your brother this much two sentence we will have in our examination so this is the first part now we have to add the second part that is known as question tag so now who we are having is aram in the sentence so we will use the same auxiliaries so we have to make a negative tag here so we have to write is plus not and that is isn't and do one pronoun that is he and after that we have to use one question mark okay so students don't worry at all we will discuss all the rules that how we have to add pronoun and why we are writing in this way is plus not is isn't why so we will discuss all these things later on but right now just try to understand the examples okay next is they don't tell a lie so this is the part one or we can say this is a sentence and after that we have to add one tag one question tag so we are using do here as auxiliary and we are using they as a pronoun so our question tag is do they this is the question tag and after that we have to use one question mark okay so these are some of the examples where we can see that uh, we are having two parts the first part is the sentence and in our examination we will have this much of the part we will have one part or we can say the sentence after the sentence we have to add a question tag in this manner okay so now this thing is clear to you all that we have to use one pronoun and we have to use one auxiliary or we can say one helping verb now in the examples that we have discussed i hope you all were able to observe this thing that in some of the examples we were having not also we were having negative tags also and whenever we were having negative tags so all the times we were having the short form so let's see one more time like in this example we are having did and okay so we are not having did plus not similarly in this example we are having doesn't does plus not to so we are having the short form that is doesn't is plus not is written in this way that is isn't so this is the short form or we can say this is the contracted form so when we have to use negative tag so then we have to use the short form hum not jo hai wo complete way mein nahi likhte hain so this is known as a short form or we can say contracted form of the auxiliary verb so when not is associated when not is added with the auxiliary verb so then we have to write the contracted form we have to write the short form so how we can write how uh, we have to make the short form or we can say contracted form so we are having one table here in this table we are having all the auxiliaries with us we are having all the helping verbs so we can say modal auxiliaries also and we will see that how can we write the contract contracted form of that auxiliary with not okay so let's see so here we are having auxiliary verbs plus not and in this side we are having short form or we can say contracted form that is used in question tags so first of all we are having do plus not so jab bhi hame do plus not use karna hai in a question tag then we have to write the contracted form and what is the contracted form it is don't so basically what we are doing just uh, uh, try to understand this thing we are having do plus not so how can we make the contracted form do that is do and 
it will be there here then we have to add one apostrophe and after that we have to write a t so don't it will be uh, you know do plus not it will be don't okay so in this manner we have to make contracted form in this manner we have to make you can say short form so when we are having do plus not so that will be don't so basically what we are doing we are adding this and with our helping verb only after that we have to add one apostrophe and then we have to write a t so do plus not it will be don't clear so this is the way this is the trick that how can we write contracted form next we are having date plus not so we are doing the same thing we are writing date after that n apostrophe and t so date plus not it will be didn't next is does plus not same thing we are doing here so does plus not it will be doesn't in a short form or we can say in a contracted form now it's a very important thing that we are having m plus not so whenever we are having m plus not or whenever we have to write m as a negative tag to kabhi bhi hum m plus not ko short form mein nahi likhte hain but this is a rule or we can say this is one of the exception that we are having here that m plus not always and always it will be written as aren't i right so this is the thing that you actually have to remember you actually have to learn here that whenever we are having m plus not or you can say whenever we have to write m in a negative tag so always we are have to write r and i have m plus not ko contractive form mein nahi likhte hain but we have to use r and in the place of m plus not so it will be r and i clear we will see some examples also so don't you worry next we are having is plus not so yes it will be isn't because we are having is plus not so n will be here after s so and apostrophe and then uh, then uh, after apostrophe it will be t so is plus not it will be isn't next we are having r plus not so yes uh, similarly it will be aren't then we are having has plus not so it will be hasn't have plus not it will be haven't we are having had plus not so it will be hadn't so students you have to write the same contractive form you cannot write had not in this way you have to write the contractive form only you have to write the short form only next is was plus not so was plus not it will be wasn't right next is were plus not it will be weren't similarly we are having the same way right next is shall plus not so it will be shan't yes we are having some changes here the changes is there in the spelling that how we have to spell this word we are having shall plus not that is s h a double l but when we are writing this in a short form the spelling will be s h a n so we can say that these two double letter word or we can say these two double l they will be removed and the spelling will be shan't okay next is will not so yes another exception we are having or we can say another change in, in the spelling we are having here so will plus not it will be want so yes we are discussing the entire table here just to clear all these things that to, you know what auxiliary will be written in what form when we are writing the short forms okay so just learn this table just be very careful that shall plus not it will be shan't will plus not it will be want next we are having can plus not so yes modal auxiliaries can be there in the sentence so we have to use the same auxiliary so if we are having can plus not so it will be can't next is should plus not so it will be shouldn't okay then we are having would plus not so it will be wouldn't then could plus not so yes it will be couldn't then we are having may plus not so yes it will be written as a meant it means m a y n and then apostrophe after that t next is might plus not so it will be mightn't we are having ought plus not ought yes it is it is also one of the modal auxiliary it can also be there in the sentence so if we are having ought we have to make you know negative uh, tag then ought plus not it will be oughtn't okay 
then we are having must plus not so it will be mustn't then we are having used plus not so used plus not it will be usent then need plus not it will be needn't and dare plus not it will be daren't so students we have discussed all the auxiliaries that we are having including the helping verbs also and including the models auxiliary also so total we are having 24 auxiliaries so jo bhi auxiliary aapko milegi so we have covered all the auxiliary in this table so just you know read the table very carefully just read all the contractive forms just read all the short forms. forms of each and every auxiliary verb right so if we are you know we have to write the negative form of uh, the verb if we have to make a negative tag then we have to add not with the auxiliary verb and then we have to write the short form in this manner now i am sure that one question will be there in your mind that uh, how can we decide that we have to write a negative uh, tag or we have to write the positive tag so yes we will discuss this thing further but okay i am telling you right now that uh, So just to learn this thing if we are having a positive sentence then the tag will be negative and if we are having a negative sentence then the tag will be positive this is the golden rule that you have to learn right it's very simple hame sab vice versa karna hai if we are having a positive sentence then make a negative tag if you are having a negative sentence then make a positive tag so whenever you are having a positive sentence then the tag will be negative and in negative tag you have to add not and then you have to write the short form or we can say the contractive form but if you are having a negative sentence already then the tag will be positive one and then you have to write only you know positive form like must used need and dare then you don't need to add not also okay So now let's see let's discuss the next point that is how to add pronoun in question tag so till now we have discussed this thing i hope this is very much clear to you all that when we are making one question tag so we have to add to one auxiliary the auxiliary same auxiliary that is there in the sentence and we have to add to one pronoun also so we have discussed about the auxiliary we have discussed that when have we have to make one negative tag then how can we write the short form how can we write the contractive form that we have discussed we have seen the entire table now we are discussing about the pronoun because in question tag we are having two major part first is auxiliary second is pronoun so now we will discuss about the pronoun we will discuss all the rules that how can we add a proper pronoun how can we add a appropriate pronoun in our question tag so we are having some of the rules so let's see the first one if the subject of the sentence is any personal pronoun we have to use the same pronoun in the question tag so this is the first rule it's a very easy one according to this rule if the subject of the sentence is any personal pronoun so i hope you all are able to recall about the personal pronoun we are having you know first person second person and third person pronoun we are having different cases right subjective case objective case is reflexive case right humne puri table padhi hai pronoun ki so when we are having any personal pronoun as the subject of the sentence then while making the question tag we have to use the same pronoun in our question tag this is the first rule so we are having some of the example to clear this thing so let's see let's discuss the first one is he reads the ramayan so in this sentence we can see that we are having he as the subject of the sentence this is the sentence or we can say this is the first part of this sentence that is he reads the ramayan so in this sentence what is the subject the subject is he because who is reading he is reading so who is the subject he is the subject now we have to add question tag now we have to write the second part of the sentence that is question tag so we have to write first of all you know auxiliary so we are writing doesn't why we are writing doesn't because we are having he reads it means this is present simple tense we are having first form plus s o e s it means does is hidden here and this is a positive sentence so obviously our tag will be negative so we are writing does plus not in a contractive in a short form that is doesn't 
after that we are writing pronoun so when we are having any personal pronoun either it is you know first person second person or third person so we have to use the same pronoun here so we are having he so same pronoun or we can say same he we are using here in the question tag so the question tag will be doesn't he okay and the complete sentence will be he reads the ramayan doesn't he right next is you know me so this is also sentence and we are having a, a personal pronoun in the sentence and yes i have told you it doesn't matter that we are having first person second person or third person all the personal pronoun they comes you know they come under this rule that whenever you are having any personal pronoun so you have to use the same personal pronoun in the question tag so here we are having you that is a second person pronoun so we have to use the same pronoun we have to use same you in the question tag so we are having uh, here you know me in this sentence do is hidden why because we are having first form with you this is again present simple tense and do is hidden here this sentence uh, is uh, you know positive sentence so tag will be negative so we are writing do plus not in a short form that is don't and after that we have to use pronoun and we will use the same pronoun that is there as the subject of the sentence so we are writing writing don't you this is the question tag that we have to add in this sentence so the complete sentence will be you know me don't you next one i did not see her yesterday so in this sentence also we are having i that is a pronoun and this is the subject of the sentence we are having i did not see her yesterday so it's a negative sentence you all can see we are having not it's a negative sentence so if the sentence is negative the question tag will be positive so this is the reason here we are not using did not here we are not writing didn't but we are writing only did and after that we are are using pronoun and the same pronoun that is given to us so here students you don't need to do any changes in the pronoun like you know you don't need to convert i into you or you into i no you just uh, actually have to use the same pronoun that is given to you as the subject of the sentence right so this is the first rule that how can we use the pronoun again one more time i am repeating this rule according to this rule if we are having any personal pronoun as the subject of the sentence we are having you know first person second person third person any pronoun if we are having then in the question tag we have to use the same pronoun without doing any changes clear now we are having uh, a next rule that is second one so let's see if the subject of the sentence is any noun we have to use pronoun for that noun but how according to its number according to the person and according to the gender so it's a very important rule so according to this rule this rule says that if we are having noun so we have discussed in the previous rule that if we are having any personal pronoun so just to use the same personal pronoun but now the point is that if we are having any noun then how can we change the noun into pronoun because this thing is clear that in the question tag we can't use any noun we have to use only on only pronoun there right so this thing is clear that we have to convert that noun into pronoun but how can we convert so yes we have to convert according to the number number i hope it is clear to you all number means we can say that it's a singular one or plural one we can say it's a gender it means it's a masculine feminine neutral so according to these things we have to convert the noun into pronoun so we are having some of the examples here to clear this thing let's see first example is binay and sudhir are friends so in this example we are having our subject that is binay and sudhir this is the subject binay and sudhir are friends and now we have to add question tag so let's see we are having are here so the auxiliary that we are having in the sentence we have used, we have to use the same auxiliary in the question tag so we are using the same one that is are and this is a positive sentence so obviously the 
question tag it will be negative so we are writing r plus not in a short form that is rn after that we have to use a pronoun so we are using they here why we are using they because what is the subject the subject is bina and sudhir so we are having plural subject here so when we are having any plural noun so for that plural noun we have to use they right i hope it is clear to you all all the masculine singular one they will be converted into he all the feminine singular one they will be converted into she all the plurals they will be converted into they and all the non living things they will be converted into it right in this manner you have to do the changes in this manner you can convert nouns into pronouns so here we are having plurals as a subject so for plural noun we are writing they as a pronoun second sentence bhavna is an intelligent girl so in this sentence what is the subject the subject is bhavna it's a, a positive sentence so we have to make negative tag here we are having is so we are writing is plus not in a short form that is isn't after isn't we have to write one pronoun so for bhavna that is a feminine noun we are using she here so our tag is isn't she and the complete this sentence will be bhavna is an intelligent girl isn't she right and now suppose in the place of bhavna we are having bhupesh right that's a masculine noun so if we are having bhupesh is an intelligent boy then the question tag will be isn't he okay so rules are very very simple whenever you are having masculine noun then change that into he if you are having any feminine noun change that into she if you are having plurals change that into they and if you are having non living object then change it into it one more example the sofa set was not strong enough so in this sentence what is the subject the subject is the sofa set we are having negative sentence so tag it will be positive one and do we are having was so we will use the same auxiliary that is was so in the question tag we are writing was and after that we have to write pronoun so we are using it why we are using it because our uh, subject of the sentence that is non living object that's a non living thing that is the sofa set so for all the non living things we have to use it so the complete sentence will be the sofa set was not strong enough was it okay so this is the second rule according to this rule whenever we are having any noun as the subject of the sentence then we can't write the same noun we have to convert that noun into appropriate pronoun and how can we convert we have to convert according to number according to person and according to gender and we have discussed some of the example so i hope that this rule is clear to you all that how can we write the appropriate pronoun in the place of of noun all right next moving on we are having third rule so let's see what this rule says in the sentence uh, if the sentence has subject like there one this or that these or those the subject in the question tag will be there one if or they so yes very important rule we are having here so students you have to learn all these rules because according to these rules only you have to write the perfect pronoun right so now according to this rule if we are having there one this or that these or those as the subject of the sentence then in the question tag we have to write there one it and they so what it actually means let's see some of the examples to clear all the doubts the first one is there is a book on the table so here we are having there in the beginning of the sentence and we are saying that there is a book on the table so yes we are having there but basically we are talking about the book also right so let's see we are writing question tag that is isn't there okay next one is one cannot do this sum so here we are having one as the subject of the sentence so we are adding question tag can one 
we can see here that it's a negative sentence cannot so question tag it will be positive one so we are writing can we are using the same auxiliary here and after that as a pronoun we are writing one so the complete sentence will be one cannot do this sum can one next is this is my table so here we are having this in the beginning of the sentence and basically we are talking about the table right so the question tag that we are having here is isn't it so just to uh, focus all the example and just observe this thing in each and every example that whenever we are having positive sentence we are having negative question tag and whenever we are having negative sentence then we are having positive question Text. So, observe this thing also in all the examples that we are discussing here. Next example, these are your caps. So, here we are having these, okay. So, let's see how can we write a question tag. The question tag will be aren't they. Why we are using they? Because these are your caps. So, we are talking about plural things, right. So, this is the reason we have to use they here as a pronoun and the complete sentence will be these are your caps, aren't they? Next is those were his buffaloes again we are having those we are talking about the buffaloes again plural one so here we are using question tag as a weren't they okay and the complete sentence will be those were his buffaloes weren't they okay so just to remember uh, these words that if we are having any one of these words that how can we add question tag or we can say how can we add the appropriate pronoun for these uh, subjects moving on we are having next rule so let's see if the subject of the sentence is no one anyone someone everyone everybody somebody nobody anybody so we are having so many words here so if we are having any one from these words then the subject of the question tag it will be they right so when we are having no one anyone someone everyone everybody somebody nobody anybody any of these words then the uh, subject that we have to use in the question tag that will be be they we have to use they in the place of all these words so let's see some of the examples again to clear this thing first one is someone stole my watch so this is the sentence that we are having here in the beginning or we can say as the subject of the sentence we are having someone here and we can see that it's a positive sentence someone stole my watch so obviously the question tag it will be negative one here we are having stole that is a second form so it means that we are having past simple tense here and did is hidden here so we have to use did plus not and the contractive form will be den to and as a pronoun we are using they here so question tag will be den to they so according to this rule if we are having someone so we have to replace that someone with they and the complete sentence will be someone stole my watch den to they next is anyone can lift this box in this sentence we are having anyone anyone can lift this box again you know we are having positive sentence so question tag it will be negative we are having one model auxiliary here that is can so tag will be can plus not and the short form will be can't and as a pronoun again we are using they here why because we are having anyone here as the subject of the sentence sentence next is everybody is the master of his fate so here we are having everybody right and again we are having a positive sentence so question tag it will be negative one we are having a, is the master of his fate is aram so we will use the same auxiliary so here we are you have to we have to write a they so for they we are writing are here okay don't get confused students all the things should be very clear here we are having 
having is is our um so we are using the same auxiliary but in the place of is we are using our why because here we are having they okay so for they for plural we are using are plus not and the short form is aren't so we are writing aren't and the complete sentence will be everybody is the master of his fate aren't they next one nobody has seen god so in this sentence we are having nobody so students be very careful that if we are having nobody so it means we are having one negative sense we are having one kind of negative meaning in the sentence so it means that this sentence is in the category of negative sentence yes we are not having not in the sentence one particular not is not there but we are having nobody so because of this word nobody because it's a negative word the sentence also becomes a negative one so the now the question tag it will be positive one we are having you know has the sentence is nobody has seen god so has and have so for that we are having have here and do as a pronoun we are having they so because we are having they that's a plural one in the place of has we have to write have here okay and the complete sentence will be nobody has seen god have they next one somebody knocked at the door so in this sentence we are having somebody knocked it's a second form it means it's a example of past is simple tense and did is hidden here so it's a positive sentence so we have to write a negative tag did plus not and the contractive form will be didn't and in the place of somebody we have to use they as a pronoun and the complete sentence will be somebody knocked at the door then to they okay so this is the rule and according to this rule if you are having someone no one anyone everyone somebody nobody then in the place of these words we have to use they as a pronoun in the question tags right next another rule we are having here if the subject of the sentence is everything something anything nothing then the subject of the question tag it will be it so now according to this rule if we are having you know these words like everything something anything or nothing as the subject of the sentence then while making the question tag we have to use it as a pronoun okay so just uh, you know uh, uh, clear this thing that if we are having somebody or someone you can say everybody everyone then we have to use it they but if we are having something okay if thing is there then we have to use it they we can have something everything nothing anything so if thing is associate with these words then we have to use it but to when someone somebody such words were there then we have to use it they all right so let's see some examples here first one is everything looks beautiful so here we are having everything students don't get confused here we are talking about thing right agar yahan pe everyone hota aur everybody hota then the appropriate pronoun will be they but here we are having thing we are talking about everything so now the appropriate pronoun will be it so the sentence is everything looks beautiful so here we are having first form plus as or es so here we can say that it does is hidden here it's a positive sentence so tag will be negative does plus not so the short form will be doesn't after doesn't we have to write pronoun and yes according to the rule if we are having everything then the pronoun will be it so our question tag is doesn't it and the complete sentence will be everything looks beautiful doesn't it next sentence nothing is yours so in this sentence we are having nothing and do we can say that it's a negative sentence because we are having nothing here okay so just remember this thing nothing no one nobody these are negative words so when we are having these words in the sentence then the sentence also becomes a negative one and then the question tag will be positive one okay 
सो हेयर वी आर हैविंग नथिंग इज योर्स दैट इज अ नेगेटिव सेंटेंस तो टैग वी कैन से इट विल बी पॉजिटिव सो वी आर राइटिंग इज इट वी आर यूजिंग सेम ऑक्सिलरी दैट इज इज एंड आफ्टर दैट वी आर यूजिंग इट एंड द कंप्लीट सेंटेंस विल बी नथिंग इज योर्स इज इट नेक्स्ट वन समथिंग वॉज देयर सो वी आर हैविंग समथिंग हेयर इन दिस सेंटेंस द सेंटेंस इज अ पॉजिटिव वन सो द टैग क्वेश्चन टैग इट विल बी नेगेटिव वन वॉज प्लस नॉट इट विल बी वॉज एन इन अ कॉन्ट्रेक्टिव फॉर्म एंड वी आर यूजिंग इट एज अ प्रोनाउन सो क्वेश्चन टैग विल बी वॉज एंड इट एंड द कंप्लीट सेंटेंस इज समथिंग वॉज देयर वॉज एंड इट नेक्स्ट इज एनीथिंग कैन बी डन फॉर हर हेयर वी आर हैविंग एनीथिंग कैन बी डन वी आर हैविंग कैन दैट इज अ मॉडल एंड इट्स अ पॉजिटिव सेंटेंस सो वी हैव टू राइट नेगेटिव टैग दैट इज कैन प्लस नॉट एंड द शॉर्ट फॉर्म विल बी कांट वी आर यूजिंग इट एज अ प्रोनाउन एंड द क्वेश्चन टैग दैट वी आर यूजिंग हेयर इज कांट इट एंड द कंप्लीट सेंटेंस विल बी एनीथिंग कैन बी डन फॉर हर कांट इट ओके so students till now we have discussed the basic rules that how can we form question tags i hope this is clear to you all that in a question tag we have to use auxiliary and if the sentence is a positive one then the tag will be negative one to make a negative tag we have to add not to with auxiliary and then we have to write the contractive form so we can say the short form we have seen the table we have discussed the entire table in which we are having all the auxiliaries and the short forms right after that we have discussed that how can we use the appropriate pronoun because in a question tag we have to use auxiliary verb and a pronoun so we have discussed all the rules that how can we use the appropriate pronoun yes we cannot use noun we have to write only and only pronoun in the question tag and how can we convert some words into pronoun that we have discussed we have seen all the rules and we have seen so many examples pulse also so i hope this thing is clear to you all how can we form question tag what are the words that we have to use in a question tag how can we write the short form the contractive form of auxiliaries in a negative question tag and how can we use the appropriate pronoun in the question tag right and in the next video we will continue with this topic we will see some more rules right so just be with me and see you in the next video thank you